Yo, what's up here in Korea? Can't believe it, I'm back. Got my bed hair, got my sleepwear. It is 7 a.m. and I'm ready for the day, you know? I can't wait to explore and just have you guys come with, come with us on this journey. Like, I'm just sad. I don't even know what we're gonna do today, but it just looks that beautiful outside. So let's get on with the Korea series. We're back. You know, this is my favorite time of the year for this channel. So let's just get into it. Let's go. We're here eating breakfast. <coughs> we got kalbusu and tonkas. So good. Mm. Perfect first meal here in Korea. So that was a little bit crazy. We walked through the uh, market. I don't know what market that was, but it was huge, ginormous. We made a turn, more always. We made another turn, more always. And we were just like, wow, there's a lot of stalls here. Um, and it's so active, it's like nine o'clock. Usually things don't get crazy here around until 10, so. Pretty nice to see, but we're just walking around and uh, checking out the view. Look at this. Nice. Um, came to try this salmon bowl. 
and the salmon is pretty good. I want to give it like maybe like a 7 out of 10. It's not like amazing, but the rice that comes with it. Hold on. The rice that comes with it is so fucking good and it elevates the whole thing to like a 10. It has this really strong wasabi flavor for some reason. There's The wasabi is on the side, but there's some kind of wasabi flavor in here and I can't explain it. So far, everything we've eaten in Korea has been awesome. From like the first little kimbap I had from the convenience store to like right now. Everything's been so good. And the salmon in the middle of the day. It's a good lunch. Very refreshing. So we're here in uh, Songdo and this place is uh, about like, we're staying in Somyeon and this place is about like 40 minutes away. Uh, you have to take a, the subway and then you have to take the bus. Not very long of a commute, but it is very nice to be around. This place is uh, has the cable cars, a uh, little bridge so you can see the uh, ocean and the beach the water hitting the rocks and then that skyline is so beautiful during sunset this place is really relaxing and i'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to find some really good seafood here since we're in uh, the beach area so i'm hoping we'll be able to find something really good to eat tonight but we're just enjoying like i said this trip is all about the vibes and we're just enjoying the sunset vibes right now we are gone forever. I'm scared. My legs are just like wobbling right now. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it so you can know? So we have this random spot. I wanted some octopus and it tastes so good. I love it. It's just a little hard to eat because octopus is very hard to chew through. But it's so good. That sauce is so delicious. I have no idea what that is, but it tastes kind of like sesame. It's like a sesame slaw. It's it's good. I just have no idea what it is. That's so food really good. This soup. I have no idea what it is, but it's really good. It's just cold, so it throws you off a little bit. But the real thing that gets me crazy is that we came here because they also serve it with the gorgonzola pizza. This thing is a quesadilla with sweet corn, and it is so good. What an interesting combination. This place, I wanna say it's worth checking out for sure. Just for the very interesting taste going on here. See that right there? Wow. That's right here. That's all. Hot dog right there. I got peer pressure. It's, it's funny how they were just like, you, you're going in line. They just assumed. And then we were. Pancake. This one has stuffing, it has seeds in it. 
This one has a donut, a strong nutty flavor to it. Ayo. With um, hints of honey. Mm. This mall is ginormous. Look how big this is. Those in Korea are crazy because uh, they're ginormous. I don't know all malls in Asia like that, but malls of Korea are huge. Mm. 